so welcome to cloud learning channel uh, in last lab uh, in last video we have seen that how to create a dev test lab it is a new handy topic i can say right and you can utilize it um, and if you know want to know you will find very less videos on this probably so this is something good video which you can refer okay so the last video was like we created the dev test lab and this is our first lab which got created here okay now today we will proceed further and how we will see how to add vm virtual machine to your lab environment okay and hopefully you will find it useful so now just one thing like you know that uh, i am spending money on that one because this is something like not free kind of things so i hope uh, you will appreciate the effort and you will hit a like button and will share it with your friends if you like this video okay now so I am in dev test lab service and if I go I created the dev test first lab and I opened it now you can see that it has number of options what you can do with this like this is overview okay uh, what is the resource group they use what is the location subscription and all the such details then you can get start for the other things like what you can do so welcome then you can set up your labs you can create your virtual machines you can create your own arm environments arm templates you can go and you can use lab for your different scenarios okay internal support also can be configured that is another thing and they are like resources virtual machine environment data disk secrets personal data all such information is there apart from this you have configuration and policies as well okay now if i go and if i say like i want to add one virtual machine right how you can do that you can go to my virtual machine section and you can add virtual machine and these virtual machine you can provide to your uh, end users right uh, and you, they can use as per their requirement or you can provide them to the developers and they can use that one there are n number of category which is available right there are approximately now you can see that this is a difference actually in default vm you get very less kind of uh, options but here you have n number of options like sql server on ubuntu uh, sql server on windows servers and and that kind of different flavors different kind of options are available windows 11 pro desktop you can also prepare and uh, all such things all such things are available you can see okay now for the sake of demo right we can create a number of machines and we can see like how it will work so i go for windows first and let's see what is available with windows so if i go for windows here So like Windows 10 you can create, Windows 7 you can create, right? And I go further on Windows 11, if I go Windows 11 I can create, okay? Kind of this, we can create different kind of machines. Let's let's go for Windows 11 virtual machine with Microsoft 365 apps or yes, let's say we go for this machine, okay? Now, this will ask username and it will ask for the password i can set a default password okay after that disk and size you can change your size if you want for virtual machines so it is like a3 as of now right so if you see a3 is basic underscore a3 you can change your size and i can go with the default one like v3 is fine okay and i choose this one then you can choose uh, which kind of uh, hard disk you want to use standard hard disk or standard ssd disk or premium ssd disk right you can add or remove artifacts as well if you want you can add the artifact artifacts and 
you can integrate it with pipeline agent azure pipelines right you can configure it with chef client you can configure with different kind of options you have with eclipse you can integrate it with docker so whatever the place you want to keep you can set up the artifact okay suppose i go for like zip file artifact okay and you can create the things apart from this there are different other options as well let's have a look on that one suppose if i give go for red hat again the same thing and here you can see the advanced settings so in advanced settings the other things which you can set up you can control like which virtual network it will use will which virtual network it will use which subnet it will use okay that kind of things you can do that kind of things you can do okay so you can select and you can choose your own v on vnet as well here so you can create your uh, vnet and you can use this one okay uh, so this this kind of control also is there uh, and you can say like okay claimable virtual machine like if you don't want to set up the ownership you can set this machine as unclaimable or not claimable right now and then anybody come and they can claim the machine number of instances you can do you can set up the virtual machine expiration date as well like suppose i would say that it should get expired by tomorrow for me so that is also fine okay that kind of option is available so we created two virtual machine and let's hope that it will show soon so one machine is ready now uh, auto shutdown is configured it is windows 11 machine pr one okay and <clears throat> now you can see that this this created one resource group where it can go you can set up the auto start time as well and then auto shutdown as well you can configure if you need okay so these options are available and definitely you can perform this one uh, auto shutdown is also this uh, auto start is not opted out that's why it is showing like this way the option is not available but definitely i can go to policies and i can opt out for auto start option as well okay so now is this machine is in the creation process yet so we'll see the other details once it get ready uh, this is the second machine which is getting created okay and uh, let's uh, meanwhile let's see what you can do in configure and policies and here there are number of options which you can do right like you can see the activity logs what has happened till now all the things has been shown whatever the activities you have done it has access controls okay you can you have the access and control options uh, you can go like virtual machines per user okay so you can define like how many virtual machines per users you want to limit like suppose you want to say there should be only per user can use maximum three virtual machines right this way you can do or limit the number of much virtual machine using premium OS disk okay so you can set up like how many premium disk a user can use so okay limit the number of virtual machine using premium OS disk okay so you can control the virtual machine count as well who can use premium OS disk as well just to save the cost and definitely it can be useful for you okay 
so there is a issue i can see like phase 2202 this has a create option phase check out that the hypervisor hypervisor generation of the image matches hypervisor generation of the so there is a conflict with the size actually that is fine that is fine that is for completely for the lab test environment and uh, i my intent was to show you the how you can add the virtual machines right then you can see limit the virtual machines by per lab okay so how many virtual machine can be created in this lab this way you can configure right or you can limit and you can ensure like you otherwise you don't have control right you can't limit the vm numbers you done and that thing you can't do right but this way you can definitely do okay so this is the environment or this is the benefit of using dev test lab okay so we'll see the other options as well for sure but uh, in this particular video i don't want to keep it too long uh, so that's why i am trying to make it short and right now still the creation progress is in process so let me hold for a moment and let's wait till the time it got created so here you can see that uh, now it is pending for awaiting VM agent and basically it, agent is getting installed. It took approximately 3-4 minutes till now to reach this point and still it is in process. However, connect option is available there but definitely the process is not yet complete. So we'll wait but I just would like to share the update how, how it was going on. So here it is. So once it progress further, I will let you know. Okay guys, so here we are ready and it is like showing running status now. So that is fine. Okay, now let's try to connect this machine. Let's see how we can connect this. You can click on connect. Got the RDB file, you can open it. I can open it, connect, I need to remember the password, hopefully I am able to do that, yes, it was correct, and we are able to log in into this machine, and you can see, And this comes with the defining setups like if you configured it with artifacts, if you configured it with the policies, lab policies which you have set up, right? Uh, this way it will follow the complete environment. This is Windows 11 machine which we used. So here you are setting up the initial setup for Windows 11 machine. are good you can see now I can go to start or if I go to file explorer you can see properties you can see like it has 8 GB RAM as we uh, discussed uh, we took the machine right it has 8 GB RAM as well it has Windows 11 enterprise 
installed on it and the other details okay so so we are good and we are able to read, uh, create the machine in virtual dev test log i hope that you are able to enjoy this and in the next videos we will try to cover the other options what the other options we have we'll try to explore that and we'll see how it feels okay uh, for now i will stopping this machine and i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please hit a like button and comment your location in comment section uh, it will motivate me to go for the higher videos okay and it will motivate me to create more videos like this thank you guys once again for watching this videos tata bye bye